Hey there, it's Rob and it's uh, a very bright sunny day here in Johannesburg and um, uh, I'm having a day at home today. Uh, when I say a day at home, I've actually been to three meetings um, and uh, so it's been quite busy uh, and I was on Skype at 6.30, 5.30 this morning, 5.30 this morning. So it's been quite a busy day but it's uh, just heading towards lunchtime and I want to tell you why I didn't come on Facebook Live yesterday. Why I didn't get a chance to do a uh, episode of Tetric ETV? Because this is num episode number one hundred and thirty-seven um, that we're slowly ticking off throughout this mission to get two hundred and sixty-ish Facebook Lives episodes of Tetric ETV to you in twenty seventeen. So yesterday in in South Africa um, was was Women's Day. Which I'm going to move so it's not so bright. Uh, which, um, which is a day to celebrate all things women, with achievements women have got, the women in your life, um, your daughters, uh, your relationships, and, and the, the genuine achievements of of females. And um, I spent the day yesterday uh, hanging out with my my wife and daughter, um, looking after them. Uh, made food for them, made sure people didn't do very much, uh, made sure my daughter had loads of fun. Um, yeah, that was my my day yesterday. Sent a message to my mum, you know that that sort of stuff. And um, but but how else did I spend yesterday? I spent also spent yesterday large periods of time just doing nothing, no TV, um, nothing. In fact. I just sat around in the garden watching my daughter play for large chunks of time and um, lighting here is terrible. Uh, watching my daughter play for large periods of time, chatting with my wife, a little bit of snoozing and I did nothing. Um, and here's the thing, doing something is really easy. We're all brought up to be doing the entire time from drinking beer to doing a hobby to uh to reading to working to just being busy but when was the last time you stopped and did nothing no jokes no banter little communication just watched absorbed thought and, and waited to see what came into your mind for me yesterday, what, what came into my mind? Um, f for me yesterday, in this emptiness of mind, this doing nothing, came the realisation of just how close I am to achieving four to five of my uh, major goals in life. Just how close. So close that you can almost touch it. Uh, so close that um, with very, very few actions, I actually can take them from being goals and have achieved them relatively easily by Christmas. Um, one of them, uh, I've made no secret that I've always wanted to live in the USA. Um, that's, that's looking like it's going to be possible uh, within the next six to nine months. Um, I've desperately wanted to take my wife and daughter to share one of the passions that I have in my life, which is adventure, and in particular, expeditions. And my, my daughter's very little, she's only 14 months. And so I'm going to take them on a canoe expedition when we have a month-long family holiday in uh, the Pacific Northwest of the USA in, in a few weeks' time. Um, I, I arrange that. Um, there's been people I've wanted to connect and join together for a long time, and suddenly... Um, with a couple of simple actions, I'm going to make all of that possible. Uh, I, I suddenly realised yesterday that two pieces of work that I'm doing at the, this point in time, um, quite substantial pieces of work, some online programmes, which I'll tell you about soon. Uh, if I was to do 20% more, I actually could write a full book um, through having some of the videos that I'm making turned into audios and some of the audios that I'm making as well and glued all those together and get those transcribed and doing a bit of additional writing as well. Actually, I could, could write a real big book um, and probably have that done in the next few months. Um, and I've written a couple of small books, but I'm talking a big book, you know, a 60,000-ish word book. Um, 
And all of this came to me yesterday, this emptiness of mind, suddenly realising how grateful I am for some things, suddenly realising uh, that some things were possible if I just tweaked a few little things and did a couple of little things extra. And the real interesting thing was that opportunity to reflect and review. I don't actually have to do that much more or that much different to take those goals and those things and turn them into reality. Now, I never would have had that opportunity had I not had, uh, I never had those thoughts, sorry, had I not given myself the opportunity to do nothing, to be completely empty of mind to see what comes. And so I'm not advocating that doing nothing is something you should do the entire time, because action is really important. Action is what makes success happen. But giving yourself the opportunity to do nothing, maybe you could just try it for an hour or two hours a week. Um, just sit and be undisturbed. Uh, turn your phone off. Don't engage in anything. Just sit and be uh, and see what comes into your mind. What do you think about uh, and of what benefit is that for you? For me, I, I think this is one of the most important days yesterday that I've had for a long, 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 long time. Um, and I'm going to now start um, diarying a, um, a half day a month where I'm just going to go somewhere and I'm just going to sit and be and do nothing for half a day. See what happens. Uh, if, it's, if it's anywhere near as good as yesterday was, as beneficial as yesterday was, uh, for my level of energy and excitement and clarity of mind and focus for today, uh, it was worth every second. Every second. So that's it. Really, you should spend some time doing nothing. Empty your head. See what happens. You never know. You just might surprise yourself. Stay well.